Good morning, Year 6, and welcome to Wednesday's English lesson, which is Can I Develop My Understanding of the Apostrophe? Okay, so greens, you need to understand what an apostrophe is. Blues, you need to be able to use the apostrophe to show possession. And reds, you're going to use both its and its correctly. Okay, so when do we use an apostrophe? Okay, what is an apostrophe for? It's really important that we understand how they're used so that we can make our writing make more gr grammatical sense, okay? So we're looking at two specific ways in which the apostrophe is used. Possession, so something belonging to somebody. So it's Chloe's baseball. The baseball belongs to Chloe. And using it's or it's. Now, it's without the apostrophe is just it's. Or it with the apostrophe means it is. Okay, the apostrophe is in place of that I. Okay, so it's raining outside would need the apostrophe. It is raining outside. Okay, so for possession, it's just showing when something or someone in a sentence owns the object, it belongs to them. So the cat's tail waved in the air. All right, the tail belongs to the cat, so we need an apostrophe. All right, Mr. Green's umbrella sheltered him from the rain. Okay, again, it's Mr. Green's umbrella. All right, it belongs to him. So have a look at the following sentences. Decide where you need to put the apostrophe to show possession. You can pause the slide. If you want to rewrite the sentence out, you can, or you could rewrite the word and put the apostrophe in the correct place. Okay, the lion's road echoed echoed around the va valley. 14 elephants ate all of the tree's leaves in less than five minutes. Captain Holbot's ship crashed over the ferocious ocean waves. The lady's handbag was snatched by the two thieves. After a long walk, the children's shoes were caked in thick mud. Have a go. And we've got 14 elephants ate all of the villagers' food, so it's the food that belongs to the village. Captain Holbot's ship, it's his ship, belongs to him. The lady's handbag, okay, it's the handbag that belongs to the lady. And then it's the shoes that belong to the children. Okay, make sure you've got those apostrophes in the right place as well. Okay, when it comes to deciding between using it's or it's, there's one simple rule. If you want to say it is or it has, then you need to use it apostrophe s. OK, so it's been raining all day today means it has been raining all day today. It's nearly half past four means it, it is nearly half past four. OK, and then any other time you just need to use plain old it's the dog wagged its tail. OK, now I know the tail belongs to the dog, but you don't need the, the apostrophe for possession there, year six. Look at the sentences below. Some sentences need it apostrophe s because they want to say it is or it has, and some just need plain old it's, you need to decide, okay? Have a go, and then we'll pause the slide and go through it. So you all have your own colored task in your document section that you can give this a go, okay? Good luck, Essex, well done.